Okay, picking up from where we left off last time, we created our universal profile page. Now, our profile page will display uh, a picture. We have a default uh, avatar picture here and some information from our tables named members bio. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out that table right here. This is what the table looks like. It's gonna consist of an ID, a member's ID, country, state, city, and a bio. Um, of course, the ID is going to be prim uh, a primary key. And what this table is, we're going only going to have one row per user. So I guess I can go ahead and do set this to unique. And that would be it. But I'm just leave it as is right now. So we're, now we're going to go ahead and get into creating the edit profile page okay so let's go ahead and click on this and right here is the generic edit profile uh, bio uh, form so let's go ahead and pull up our text editor see what we have here okay so starting from the top we're checking to make sure uh, Bringing in, first, we're going to bring in our connection to our uh, database. We're checking to make sure that uh, the session is logged in, uh, set for logged in, grabbing the session username. If not, we're going to kick it to the index page. And if uh, then we got to check to see if the user ID is set. If that's not set, kick it to the index page. All right, now if you remember that. We have it set up so uh, our profile page, if we go back, if there's nothing inside our database, it will display NA. So we check here, there's no, no information inside there. So what we're doing is, and this is also going to be our edit page, we also got to edit information if there is information there. So what I'm doing is going to run a query, I'm going to grab everything from the table where members ID would equal ID. So if we go, let's go back into our profile page and check the link to the edit. It's going to be user ID equals ID and ID is, I want to say it's how are we setting our ID? Oh yeah, okay. So we're setting the ID from our profile for the for the profile that's being displayed, but those links aren't being displayed to edit unless you own it. So that would work for now. Um, if you know a more secure way to implement this, go ahead. But this is just a simple system. So let's go ahead and uh, so what we're doing is we're going to run a query. We're going to check to see if it's there, if any information is there. So if the number is, equals, is equal to 1, we're going to set the variables to that. Uh, if not, we're going to set our variables to this. So we're going to go ahead and go down here. In the uh, essence, to save time, I've already created the form. So we're going to display the information here that's going to be edited. So say if you just want to edit one part, you don't have to redo the entire form because it's going to grab the uh, information from the table. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create the functionality from when the submit button's clicked and the form is processed, and then we're adding the information. So we can go right up in here to if is set post submit make sure I named it submit okay all right so let's go ahead and get the bio equals post Bio. I'm going to do the same thing for country. All 
All right, and we got it for city. State. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and perform a quick validation if statement. We're just going to check to see if any one of these are empty. And if so, if any one of them is empty, we're going to go ahead and display an error message. Okay, so let's do empty city. Okay, and we need country. All right, so if any one of those are empty, we're going to go ahead and do missing some data. All right, so let's do else. Okay, so if none of these are empty, we're going to do, we need to do to uh, do something first. Now, if there's no row inside the database for the member, you can't just do a simple query for update. And if there's already a row for member, you just can't do a simple insert because we're only going to allow one row per, uh, per member. So we got to check to see if there's a row. And we already did that up here for uh, get member info, the num rows right there. We have that set. So let's go ahead and go if get member info, num rows equals to one. And then we're going to do update else insert. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and create the insert, uh, the update one first. All right, we can do. If query equals db query. So if this runs okay, do. And if it doesn't work, we can do error. Error on our end. Seems like a generic message. Okay. So let's do the query we're going to do. Update. Members bio. We're going to do set. Now we just got to set each one of these so we can do bio equals okay and then we do one for country She did that wrong. Okay. 
Okay, and then we gotta do city. Last one is state. Okay, and we just do where member ID equals. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and do Don't know why that got turned off. All right, so now if the query runs true, if it everything works out, we can do Okay, message Profile has been updated. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and do same thing for same thing. F well, kind of the same thing for the setting the profile. So I'm going to go DB query. Insert into member members bio and we do city state bio. We're going to need the members ID this time and country. Okay, and we can just do this. Need an else just in case it doesn't work. I'm going to copy this. Copy that. All right, so let's just go ahead and put in our values here. City. State. Bio. Actually, we can just do ID. And then we need country.
All right, so. Save that. Let's go into here. Go to edit profile. Up, oh, we got an error. On line 54. So let's just check something real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and do country. Of course, I could not any drop down uh, list of country names, but I just want to keep this short and simple. City, we're going to do New York. New York. A blip about me submit profile has been updated so we go here we browse the table okay all right so that works we'll go ahead and click here there's my profile now let's go ahead and edit it so we can do About me, let's just do this. I like web design. Submit, profile's been updated. We'll click here. Everything works. All right, uh, so that'll be it for today. I will have a, sort, a source package for this for download in the description. And on the next one, we're going to finish this up by doing the edit profile pick. All right. So thanks for watching. If you found this at all uh, helpful, go ahead and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Thanks. And see you next time.